Hello, my name is Professor Nell Bellin, and I'm delighted to share reflections with you about the health specialization here at the University of Maryland School of Social Work. I have chaired the health specialization since 2008 and have taught in our curriculum for over a decade. I am a healthcare social worker by training and worked several years in the ICU or intensive care unit at the University of Virginia Medical Center. Here at the University of Maryland, we graduate an average of 40 to 50 students each year who pursue careers in the field of healthcare social work. And I hope that you might consider joining this growing community. What exactly is social work practice in healthcare? Well, you carry a number of responsibilities that require strong problem solving, fast feet as you're always on the go, and effective interpersonal skills, since you'll be part of a larger interdisciplinary team that collaboratively works with patients who have acute, chronic, or life-threatening health conditions. Healthcare social workers may provide counseling to patients and families as they adjust to a new diagnosis of cancer, engage in crisis intervention with families experiencing acute distress following a loved one's life-threatening heart attack or severe trauma, or discharge planning for a patient who suffered a stroke and is now medically stabilized but in need of placement in a rehab center for further care. We also provide critical linkages from the healthcare facility to the community. For example, we may make referrals for patients who have cardiovascular disease and who have a history of substance use, or patients with emphysema who are now interested in smoking cessation programs. Advocacy for vulnerable patients and families who have low health illiteracy or who are struggling with profound ethical dilemmas about care for a dying loved one is also core to healthcare and social work. All of this typically unfolds in a fast-paced, high-intensity setting such as hospitals, but medical social workers are also found in rehab centers, home health agencies, skilled nursing facilities, and primary care centers, where you will also work with other professionals such as physical therapists, occupational therapists, nursing, speech, substance use counselors, and physicians from a range of specialties, all of whom evaluate the medical and psychosocial needs of a patient and family. There is also a critical need for macro-level health social work. We need social workers to engage and support communities at greatest risk for health disparities. We need social workers who have the competencies to conceptualize and implement community programs that promote health and wellness and reduce risk in vulnerable populations. We need social workers to study patterns of disease and illness at the community level and advocate for policy change and enhance service delivery for populations that are disproportionately impacted by morbidity and mortality. So how do we prepare you to accomplish these things? The University of Maryland Graduate School of Social Work has the only health specialization track in our state. We are perfectly positioned to offer challenging learning opportunities given our close proximity to several world-renowned healthcare institutions. Furthermore, since we're located on a campus that houses a range of other health professionals, you have the opportunity to learn alongside interdisciplinary peers who share your passion for serving patients with acute, chronic, or life-threatening health conditions. The field practicum sites are diverse in nature and include locations here in Baltimore, such as oncology at the Mercy Medical Center, transplant at Johns Hopkins University, or med surge teams across the street at Shock Trauma. We also offer field training sites across Maryland and in Washington, D.C. In terms of our curriculum, there are two core courses and several recommended classes for students who are health specializers. For those of you who are particularly passionate about working with children, we offer a subspecialization. In this subspecialization, you are still required to meet the expectations of the health specialization but have an additional course that focuses on maternal and child health. An advanced research elective in a maternal and child health topic is also often offered. Finally, there are a number of other highly recommended courses that are relevant to the field of healthcare social work. So again, my name is Professor Mel Bellin. I look forward to meeting you and talking more about our health specialization.